Sandra Bland's autopsy shows wounds are consistent with suicide. Results from an official autopsy of the body of Sandra Bland, who was found hanging in her jail cell two days after her arrest in Texas on July 10th, have been revealed, with officials stating that it appears Bland's death was the result of suicide, adding that there was no indication that she was attacked. Officials say the results from the autopsy on the body of Sandra Bland are consistent with suicide by hanging herself with a plastic bag that was in her jail cell. The assistant district attorney said that Bland had only a single wound around her neck, which came from the bag used in the hanging. Meanwhile, the lack of marks on her hands indicate she was not attacked. Thirty cuts that were found on her left forearm were at least two weeks old, which predated her arrest. Drug tests also revealed marijuana in her system. Minor abrasions that were found on Bland's wrists were consistent with struggling against handcuffs during her arrest. The assistant district attorney said violent, involuntary attacks usually lead to more wounds, including broken bones. However, Bland's autopsy did not reveal this was the case. Bland's family has paid for a second independent autopsy, but the results of that examination have not yet been released. Meanwhile, there has been no shortage of outrage in the public at the autopsy findings, with people expressing disbelief that Sandra Bland would have taken her own life. Many are voicing their suspicions regarding the circumstances of Bland's death. Even those who do believe the results of the autopsy consider the police to be at fault for not giving Bland the care she needed. Leave an insightful comment on Tomonews.net and you could win up to $500 every month.